hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is sonia so today i'm going to show you this makeup look if you like to see this look without any further ado let's get into the video first prep your skin with the face cream primer or you can use the setting spray at least 20 minutes before you apply foundation now i'm going to use this foundation by l'oreal fresh wear 24 hours dot dot all over on your face and use a beauty blender this is a damp beauty blender so you can blend all over on your face or you can use a brush this is very lightweight foundation this is light to medium coverage not a full coverage if you don't like to wear heavy foundation so this is best blend in a dabbing motion blend nicely all over on your face like you're pressing foundation on your skin and apply all over on your neck as well now i'm going to use this is anastasia dip pro gel i'm going to fill my eyebrows using this eyebrow brush fill your eyebrows with the gel follow your eyebrow shape and fill all over then you can use a spoolie to blend all the gel then calm down nicely now i'm using this thin brush and using the concealer and going to highlight my eyebrows and using the beauty blender to blend i'm going to use this as a concealer by mac to highlight my face i'm using this under my cheekbones on nose under your eyes and use on your forehead and on your chin now i'm going to blend this with the beauty blender I'm using the, the same beauty blender we used before. Blend nicely under your eyes, close to lower lashes. Blend nicely all over the same way we blend our foundation in a dabbing motion. Now whatever left in your beauty blender, try to apply on your eyes. Now I'm going to use, this is a loose powder by Maybelline in a medium. So try to bake all over wherever you apply your concealer before it crease. Under your eyes and on your eyes as well. Now I'm going to use, this is a Jaclyn Hill palette. First I'm going to use this shade as a transition color. Taking on a blending brush. And starting from my crease from outer corner from B. Slowly go on a crease and build this color. This color actually I'm using as a transition color blend nicely all over on a crease now i'm going to use this angled brush thin brush and using this gold shade and going to highlight my brow bone now i'm going to use this shade and taking on a flat brush And going to apply all over on my lid from inner corner to outer corner all over on the lid blend nicely take little by little and blend now I'm taking on my finger so I can take more color and blending taking little by little and blending all over on my lid 
now i'm going to use this brush and going to use this shade this is a dark shade and taking on this brush and going to apply in my inner corner in a inner v going to make a v in a inner corner right now i'm placing and blending slowly and building the color little by little and the same way you can apply same shade in the outer corner in the outer v first place then blend and wilt the color slowly like little by little this is very pigmented so very careful take little by little at a time then blend now i'm going to use this is a gold shade and using the flat brush and going to apply in a middle on my lid and blend on a top so it look natural there is no any harsh line blend nicely only in the middle and going to use on my finger so i can take more this is a light shade in a gold we used before on our brow bone now i'm going back with the transition color with the blending brush so we can blend everything on a top so there is no any harsh line so it will look natural in the end so blend nicely now i'm going to take this dark shade and going to apply on my lower lashes use angle brush drag it and blend it and going to use this black shade on a top same way drag then blend nicely with the angled brush now i'm going to use this as a eyeliner by maybelline precise and make a how big or small wings you like before your eyelashes when your eyeliner is fully dry then you can use black shade on a top in a outer corner in a b and blend nicely make your bang little bigger if you have a gel eyeliner you can use that as well and smudge nicely blend it nicely all over on your wing in a outer corner in a b only now i'm going to use this is a snap scara by maybelline apply coat of mascara before you apply your fake lashes first i apply on my lower lashes now going to apply on my upper lashes now i'm going to use this is a nude pencil using in my waterline if you like black you can use black now i'm taking a powder brush to clean all the fallouts now i'm going to apply this is a fake lashes by essential first place in the middle when middle is secure then you can move on a back and inner corner to secure and now going to apply this is a gold shade going to apply in a inner corner this is a same shade we apply in a brow bone now going to use this is a neck stick going to contour my face using on my cheekbone on my jawline from ear to chin on a nose and on a forehead and using a blush brush to blend blend nicely all over wherever you apply this dark stick and on a nose i'm using my finger to blend now i'm going to use this is a hula bronzer by benefit i'm going to use wherever i use my neck stick on a top blend nicely from ear to chin 
on a nose on a forehead and your cheekbone blend nicely now i'm going to use this as a blush by essential all about brush i'm using peach and pink shade all together blend nicely same way we apply our benefit hula bronzer now i'm going to use this as a highlighter by huda beauty first i'm using the primer this primer already in this kit apply the primer first then i'm going to use the powder on a top with the brush blend nicely on a nose on lip and on your chin and highlight your eyebrows on a top on a forehead as well now i'm going to apply this is a lipstick by clinic will give you the link in the description box if i find out because this is very old i don't have a name will find out this is by clinic this is very creamy and i love the shade and i'm going to use this is a powder brush to blend everything all together just i'm dabbing like pressing the brush all over on my face so everything will look natural there is no any harsh line so don't forget to set your makeup for makeup i'm using this setting spray by cover facts spray all over on your face from far away and let it dry here we go you done no not yet yes right now you're done you go, guys so i straight my hair so this is a final look guys hope you like this video if you like this video please like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel we'll see you in the next video Bye bye